Brandon Grace in excellent position after a drive of more than 300 yards. Grace, go! Hollering at it to go. Difficulty on the right. We're not exactly sure where it is. Brandon Grace appears to be waiting for a ruling. Let's bring in our rules expert, Brad Gregory. Yeah, Pierce uh, Brandon, his uh, ball is embedded in that penalty area. He's uh, asked for a, a rules official. There would be no free relief here uh, for a couple reasons. Number one, the ball's in a penalty area, and even if it wasn't, just if it was outside into the sandy area, uh, you would get no relief for a ball that's embedded in sand, uh, not in a closely mown area. But what's interesting here, I mean, this ball looks like it's been there a while. I, I'm, I think he's probably going to have to mark it and make sure it's his. We'll see what happens here. That could be mine from a couple of years ago. Hey, Blakey here from Golf Rules Questions, and we're just looking at the PGA Championship this week, and during round one, Brandon Grace had a shot, which he's just pushed a little bit left on the par five there, and he's hit it into sand. Now, interestingly enough, at the PGA Championship this week, there are no bunkers. So there are normally designed bunkers, but the bunkers this week have just been deemed sandy areas or sandy wasteland part of the general area. Now, because this ball was plugged in sand in the penalty area, there's of course no free relief. So he took the uh, red penalty area lateral relief option, dropping within two club lengths from where it last crossed, that point on the last edge crossed into the red penalty area. And he's dropped it within two club lengths there. But if it was embedded in sand in the rough, uh, which just outside the red penalty area would be an example of that. There also would be no free relief because his ball would be embedded in sand in the rough. Now, if it was embedded in the fairway height uh, grass, so it was embedded in fairway height grass in sand, uh, the player would get free relief from that under rule 16.3. Just try judge for a point for you. I wasn't the fair one. So it has SM on the side. He can <laughs> send it back to the tower here when he comes by. Yes, somewhere. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I okay. mean, it was. It's so, okay. You can use your best judgment. Yeah. And because this is not bunker, right? It's as it is. Right? So it I is. can't recreate it. No. Correct. You know, okay. you know, all those so all that is, that's the way it is. Okay, now you've got a two club length. Relief yeah, area yeah. for the lateral relief, so you can measure. And would you say it was probably cut? It's, it's plugged there, yeah. but it's going sideways. It's probably around there, right? Yeah, that's close enough. Yeah. yeah, I think that's just there. That's yeah. fine. Well, they seem convinced that that is his ball, so now it's just a matter of what he can do. Happy. Take it out, sure. Yeah, he's gonna take his drop here in that sandy area. It's probably gonna embed a little bit when he drops it. It won't bounce out. It's gonna make the compound the difficulty of what will be his fourth shot. Short. Now back to Brandon Grace at two. What a shot. Be his fourth magnificent shot. After all that, he should walk away with a par. 